hello everyone welcome to our youtube channel cat tutorials for beginners to advance so in this lecture we are going to see some of the different types of applying dimensions in creo parametric so mostly there are three types first one is a weak dimensions second one is the strong dimensions and third one is the log dimensions so let's uh, start with the uh, new model here and we'll keep the same as it is all the details here just click ok and here uh, let's create one sketch so take a sketch and I will select the right plane here and then it's oriented to the oriented parallel to the screen okay so now let's create one rectangle so I'll create this rectangle here so just create a rectangle so now if you see uh, there are some predefined or maybe uh, the default dimensions are uh, given by Creo so which are nothing but a weak dimensions so if you see uh, if you hover over the dimension you will see uh, in the bracket there is a weak dimensions so the weak dimensions uh, is nothing but uh, if, if you try to drag and drag this uh, dimensions on any side or maybe on the corner side it will be able to drag it okay so these are these are not a fully constrained sketch okay but let's say uh, if we if we apply some dimension here uh, let's add this dimension as 280 now you see uh, this is now turn into blue color which is nothing but a strong dimension and if you hover over this you will see in bracket uh, the strong is mentioned so this is nothing but a, the dimension is strong okay so so uh, these dimensions uh, basically fully constrain the sketch and and when the sketch is fully constrained all dimensions are become strong okay so uh, uh, let's see some with the help of example what is the difference between weak dimension and the uh, strong dimension so let's create one circle here we'll create this circle and then let's uh, take a dimension here a normal dimension and i will make it constraint from here let's say again uh, 376 keep it as it is now you can see uh, this is again a strong dimension okay so if you hover over you will see this is strong dimension and now i will again uh, dimension this let's dimension this as uh, you can say uh, 150 so this is again a strong dimension so both the dimensions are strong for this and only one is weak dimension so now if you try to uh, make these two tangents so what will happen so the rectangle this side of the rectangle is going to move till this circle because this is a strong dimension and this is a strong dimension so till this dimension this will not getting uh, will not be uh, going to move okay so let's try this so click on the tangent and then select two entities so first is a circle and second is the uh, rectangle side so you see the rectangle side is moved to the which is tangent to the circle now and the circle is still there so now let's try I, I will just undo it and let's make this as a uh, 370 so now this become as a strong dimension and then again if you try to if, if you try to uh, tangent it it will give you some warning okay so let's do try this select the circle and then select this so now you will you will see that you you, you will see the over constraint this is over constraints uh, warning so you can see the dimensions are there already uh, given so you cannot uh, perform this uh, tangency operations here so let's undo it so because of the strong dimension we are not uh, we, we cannot cannot uh, change this until the user defines the value so if you try to change this to let's say uh, 380 or maybe 400 then only it's going to move so this is the basic difference between weak dimension and strong dimension so if it is a weak dimension then definitely uh, this side will will be uh, moved to this uh, tangent level so we can say that this is a fully constrained sketch and it it, it cannot be uh, changed with the help of uh, any any other constraints okay e only if the user going to change the value then only the geometry is going to change 
then the third type is the log dimensions so so for log dimension there is one setting we need to we need to make so we have already covered in the uh, earlier lecture so let's go to the file then uh, the options here and then you can see uh, the sketcher go to the sketcher here and then you can see there is a option here available lock modified dimension under dimension behavior while dragging the section so check this lock user defined dimensions and then click on ok and then again uh, every time you will change the setting you will get this uh, uh, warning message and uh, it will ask to save whether whether you are going to save it as a as a configuration file or not so let's keep it yes as of now and then i will again save it and now if if i try to change the dimension to other value again let's say uh, 400 now you can see the color of the dimension is turned into red and if you hover over this you will see that the the dimension is locked so basically the locking of dimensions allows you to avoid modifications made to the section outside the sketcher and made by accidentally dragging a vertex or an entity so let's say if you try to drag it uh, so i am trying to drag it on the on the left side it's not happening but let's say if i try to drag this here then you are able to uh, drag this vertical dimension so this is the benefit of log dimensions you, you are not going to accidentally uh, drag it or, or made any, make any changes uh, to this one only if you want to make changes you can just update the value here so you can see only then then it is possible to change that change the geometry here so again let's say 400 again and but but on the upward uh, on the vertical side we are not uh, changed to lock dimension as of now so now you, you are able to drag it anywhere but again if you if you try to uh, make it lock dimension so if you hover over this you will see it is locked now and then you are not able to change it so this is the benefit of uh, this dimension types the weak dimension is nothing but a default dimension generated by a uh, creo for you the strong dimension uh, which is a blue color dimension uh, with this uh, we can we can fully constrain our our uh, sketch and we have already seen uh, the difference between uh, weak dimension and strong dimension with the help of example and the lock dimension uh, which allows you to avoid any any accidental uh, modifications into the sketcher so this is uh, all about dimensions in creo so just remember you need to change the uh, settings here uh, from the file options and then the sketcher and then here what we can say this one lock the user defined dimensions to to uh, enable the locking of the dimension so here uh, for the for the strong dimensions you can you can drag and drop it but for the lock dimensions you cannot drag and drop you if you want to change the dimension you only uh, only have one one way to change it through the user inputs but we cannot change it by the dragging dragging here so basically uh, the lock dimensions uh, is locking all the degree of freedom for the particular sketch so always uh, make sure that all the dimensions in your even in your uh, cad or any sketcher uh, all all the dimensions must be must be in a lock condition and uh, all the profiles should be fully constrained so in the le next lecture uh, we are going to discuss about so we are going to see all these uh, geometries different geometries available that is line rectangle circle arc ellipse spline fillet chamfer text offset thicken center line and points so uh, whatever all the different types of uh, this also we are we are going to see uh, in our uh, next tutorial and then we will cover the different remaining remaining options like uh, these uh, constraints we will cover in one of the uh, lecture so thanks for watching the video hope you have enjoyed watching it please do like and subscribe our youtube channel for such more videos and stay tuned. Thank you so much.